Hi, my name is Tiago Duarte and welcome to another video tutorial here at Daily Beats. Today's video is a little bit different. Uh, it's, it's going to be a very short video. I just want to announce the release of uh, FL Studio 20.1 and this release brings uh, a lot of uh, great new features that I was hoping the image line improved or uh, added in uh, in future versions and now they are here and uh, especially the the linking of the playlist I, I'm not going through before I start doing that uh, I'm not going through all the functions because there is a lot of uh, great videos there and actually image line um, released a video with a very good explanation and you can follow and you can see it and also I will have a link in the description with uh, with all the features that are new to the to this version so I'm not going to make another video telling uh, how uh, what are those features but before we start I would like to ask you to subscribe and activate the notifications so that you know when I upload new videos and if you have any questions just leave a comment below also, consider supporting my channel by buying one of my products at telebits.pt or become a premium or exclusive member. So, what I was saying is that these features are very, very welcome and one of the biggest features is the ability to uh, add instruments here to the, to the playlist and they will be linked, they will of course be added so if you have an if you insert a new instrument it will be uh, here you will be able to insert it into the playlist and it will also appear here in the channel rack and also here in the mixer and it everything will be linked so if you rename the the track with that instrument it will rename the instrument in the channel rack and the mixer so that's it's a very it, that is a very very nice feature that uh, you can uh, you can do maybe for for future editions i think one of one one good um, functionality will be to have here in the options for instance uh, or in the in the general settings maybe you can add a function or um an option so that uh, every time you add a new instrument here it will be locked so you will not be able to change the um, <clears throat> the number in the mixer but it will be added sequentially so for instance this one will be locked for number one if I added another one like here like this it will be added automatically to two and uh, it will link the name of the instrument with the uh, with the track and of course you could again if you if you have like uh, let's say you wanted to place here uh, an instrument or an insert you could just simply grab one from uh, the, the sides and move it to the um, to the to the beginning or to the middle of whatever so that will be a very nice option maybe for future for future videos so if image line if you are future updates actually so image line if you are watching you could do that that will be also a great great feature uh, so it will you, basically is the adding instruments using this menu and they will be locked directly so this will be disabled and uh, it will be added the actually uh, not actually added after the, the one that was the previous one used so I hope that makes sense another great feature or great improvement is in the audio recording and also the automation so now when you do that that thing of adding a um, an instrument here to the to the playlist it all the all the um, all the automation that you do will be linked to that track which is really really nice in terms of uh, our organization it will help us a lot organizing the, the projects and uh, the same thing goes to recording i i have talked about recording in fl studio uh, before in the past and uh, i think for this amazing piece of software uh, the recording process was really really bad i think and uh, yeah so one of the nice things now is that you can select a track arm it to record it and you don't have to have that track selected so that's that's for me what is a win so that that for me alone was 
uh, something that I said, okay, now I have to have this version, new version. So, yeah, I think in terms of uh, recording, it's also a very nice, a very nice uh, improvement. And uh, again, again, not again. If you don't have the latest version, I strongly recommend you do because you should you should have the latest uh, software, the latest stable software, and uh, normally image line. In the past, they had a little bit uh, of trouble in in um, uh, versions. Uh, there was one, I think it was 12.4 or 12.5, something like that, that I installed, and then my Waves plugins did not work. But um, in the latest updates, I'm not I'm not having any issues with my third-party plugins, so that's okay. And um, yeah. What else? Let me think. There is a, here uh, some some changes here in the channel rack. Also, the loop mode was uh, returned, uh, has returned, and uh, here the um, the main swing is also different. I uh, one of the reasons in the FL in the FL Studio video they released the image line video they released about this new version. They said that uh, it was to save some space, but even Okay, only if you have like this, the channel rack is, you will be able to save some space. But if you have it here, a knob, I don't think a knob will, will save too much space here. Not sure. This uh, was, I don't know. I don't think we have a lot of space here. Normally I, I usually have this like uh, the channel rack as wide as possible so that um, I can work with longer patterns so i don't see this as a nice thing so yeah it's, it's still a knob it's still the same functionality but uh, doesn't say what it is uh, we don't know for future for new users i don't think this will be a, a knob that will be very very how can i say very friendly so there is no information about this being the swing and most people also do not look to this to the hint panel so they will wonder what this what this knob does or what is for so i don't know i don't think this was a very nice uh, not i don't want to say it was not a very nice uh, update but yeah i don't think it was the most uh, successful let's say and uh, yeah the x here and what else yeah so uh, I will not go into any more details. I think the, those are the main uh, the main uh, points about this um, this uh, update, and uh, they are really really good. And um, yeah, if you if you are not using the latest, I recommend you do because uh, again, it's the the um, it's the way you. I know that previous versions already have some good improvements in the audio engine and everything. But uh, it's always good to have latest versions so that um, you can um, be at the edge of the technology. And also they have here some new samples, which is quite nice. For instance, if you go to here to kicks, now we see some minimal kicks. Uh, they added a couple more, a couple more sounds, which is also quite nice for everyone who is starting and does not have a budget to spend on sample packs or stuff like that so they can have a little bit more choice when they are making music music so this is it i will have again the links in the description and um, for the video and also for a web page where you can see the full list of uh, available available or the new release the list of the new today sorry sorry today is not a very good day i'm a little bit hungover that's why this video is a little bit short i'm sorry about that but um, yeah christmas is coming and uh, a lot of uh, uh, parties and a lot of uh, dinners with friends and uh, colleagues so yeah today yesterday i had a little bit too much so today i'm not in the in a very good mood to make tutorials but i wanted to keep the the frequency and uh, at least just give you the news that um, the fl studio probably you already saw it but uh, if uh, this is the the first one that's doing my part here so this is it guys uh, again i will have the links in the description for the video and also for the page with the list of all the new features and improvements and uh, also 
I released alongside with uh, Kapavia Music Beats a new sample pack called Drop Voca that is with 50% discount. So if you want to, to grab a copy, I will also have that link in the description and this is it. So again, if you are new here to this channel, subscribe and activate notifications. Uh, that helps a lot the channel to, to continue to grow. And um, thank you for all you guys that subscribe and activate the notifications. And if you like the content here I do to in this channel, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, no, that I said. Consider supporting uh, by buying one of my products at dailybeats.pt and uh, or become a premium or exclusive member. So, <laughs> sorry guys, this video is not very, very smooth. It's a little bit uh, hard for me to talk, especially in English. But uh, yeah. I hope you learned something today and uh, if not, uh, at least I moved you to go download um, the new FL Studio. So this is it guys, peace.